All right, good blessed evening, everybody. I know I'm 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 <laughs> cranking them out today, going back to going you know back to back. But last one for the day, I promise. Want to come on and talk about really quickly the characteristics of Jezebel, and then we're going to end this one with a prayer. Uh, so the very first characteristic, I'm not wasting any time, is uh, Jezebel refuses to admit guilt or wrongdoing. They lack accountability. Number two takes credit for everything <laughs> number three uses people to accomplish a personal agenda number four withholds information number five talks in confusion just a stream of consciousness they just talking and then you finally sit down and say what does that have to do with this whole situation you just talking because remember god is not the author of confusion but the devil is the enemy is the the the, the Je Jezebel follows her master, which is Satan, the father of lies. He is the author of confusion, but not God. So the the, the goal of, of someone like this is to get you so confused that you forget the original point because you're getting too close. All right, number six, volunteers for anything. And that's gonna be twofold because I'm I'm the kind of guy to volunteer for anything uh, as well. Number seven, lies convincingly, deceitful. Number eight, ignores people. Number nine, never gives credit or shows gratitude. Number 10, criticizes everyone. Always got something to say about somebody. Number 11, practices one-upsmanship, meaning they always have to outdo somebody. Number 12, sequesters information. So all the while they uh they, they secretly trying to they secretly just getting information from people. Thirteen uses information. Number fourteen talks incessantly. Number fifteen spiritualizes everything. Now there's a difference between spiritualize and being of the spirit. Spiritualizes it's all about the moon and the stars. I believe in the spirit, the spirit of the ancestors. Man, the ancestors are in heaven or in hell. They not roaming around you, roaming around here giving you advice. Number sixteen is insubordinate. Man, they cannot come under the sub uh, under the uh, supplication of anybody. All right, they want to be insubordinate. Number 17 is pushy and domineering. Number 18 operates in clairvoyance or mysticism, which is running rampant. Number 18 uses the element of surprise. Number 20 sows seed of discord. Number 21 commands attention. Number 22 is vengeful. Number 23 attempts to make others look like the Jezebel. So you're trying to pass the buck. Like that game uh, Among Us. You got to find the imposter. Number 24, insinuates disapproval. Number 25, knows it all. Number 26 is ambitious. Ambi being ambitious is a two, it's a double-edged sword. Okay, it can be good, it can be bad. Number 27, gift giving. And we spoke about this before in uh, curses. Number 28 is independent. Number 29, acts religious. Number 30, hides from true repentance. Number 31, demands forgiveness but does not forgive. Number 32, cannot receive correction. Number 33, exaggerates and dramatizes situations. Number 34, plays the drama queen. Number 35, puts words in other people's mouths. Number 36, masterful at projection. They've had plenty of time to do this. Number 37, loves labels and titles. Why do you think everybody wants to be uh, a title today? Number 38, displays critical spirit. Number 39, loves to vent. Number 40, uses self-pity as a hook. So the bait, that worm is self-pity. My life is all this stuff. And next thing you know, you take the bait and you're getting eaten by a shark. You this little guppy, this little tadpole. You take the bait and you're getting eaten by a shark. 
So those are just some of the characteristics of Jezebel. But those 40 are definitely the most prominent. Now, we're going to end this with a prayer. Lord Jesus, please reveal unto me, unto us, any way that we, that we try to gain and maintain control of others illegitimately. Help us to live with pure motives and with a transparency that keeps us humble before your Holy Spirit, Lord. Your word in Corinthians talks about the fruits of the Spirit and humbleness being one fruit, Father. Help us to admit when we are wrong and to take full responsibility for all of our actions. We touch and pray together, Father God, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you guys so much for tuning into yet another one. I hope these characteristics will help you. And in ending this, I want to ask you guys, have you seen some of these characteristics or um, either in yourself or just in coworkers? Have you seen a plethora of these characteristics? Has it been more than five? Has it been more than ten that you've seen in people operating? Well, then you may have a Jezebel on your hands, or you may be the Jezebel, in which case um, my advice is to pray and to fast. All right. So you guys have a very, very blessed evening. I pray that this helped you guys and bless you as much as it blessed me to put this information out here. You guys take care.